Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Frame Arms Gorai. Yes, it is finally time for me to take a look at a Frame Arms kit and share that with you guys. I've got a few of them here actually and I've just kind of been putting it off and it's finally time I want to review a Frame Arms kit for you guys just so you have an idea about what these kits are all about. Uh, I have a couple of them, like I said, I just chose this one to start off because I know this is one of the most popular ones. It's also the second one in the line, so it's going to be a little bit of an older one. I don't know, maybe later I have to maybe review one of the newer ones. I actually haven't really liked a lot of the newer ones though, so I don't know about buying one of those. I guess this the Type 48 Sniper is the newest one that I've got, but that is also based on the just original Type 48, which is this older one. But anyway, let's take a look at the go Ride. It's a pretty dark color scheme here. We have the frame here, the architect frame, uh, which is just pre-built, as you can see. It's right there. We'll take a look at that when we get that out of the box here in just a second. Again, this is the second in the line. And on the side of the box here, just kind of the same kind of stuff. Again, this is made by Kotobukiya, not by Bandai. Uh, here on the other side, just a whole bunch of images, what the kit is going to look like. So here's just the artwork for it, like we saw on the front of the box. And then here are actual pictures of the kit. So this is going to be how it's going to look just straight out of the box. Here it is, picture with a few other different option weapons. These are different uh, MSG option weapons you can get for it, that very large shield and that lance like that. There is just that architect frame and then just another little action pose there. On the other side, it's just all boring stuff, but we can see the list price for this kit is 3,000 yen. So it's uh, not that huge of a box. 3,000 yen might seem like a little bit of a lot. Kotobukiya kits usually are a little bit more expensive than uh, Bandai Gunpla kits though. But they do have very nice and sharp molding. So let's get a look at this little guy first. I did show you guys in a past video, I have taken a look at uh, Architect frame and it was like one of the newer ones where it's been like slightly reworked with a few different parts. Here we go. This one though is already pre-built but pre-built thank you no thank you for those nub marks on there. Still gonna have to go in and do some cleanup on this and also pre-built means I don't know how the stiffness is gonna be on this. It feels already really loose straight out of the box and that's no good. Uh, whereas like the newer ones that I reviewed before was one that I had to actually build myself and I think that would have been better. This doesn't really seem uh, great out of the box, it seems quite loose already so once the armor and everything's on there adding to the weight, we'll have to see how it does. Anyway, but uh, that is the frame anyway, uh, gonna be a lot of nub marks on there unfortunately. Also just realized that my color balance has been on auto for the first little bit there, so sorry if the colors were looking all kind of all weird. Uh, and then basically in the rest of this box here, just got kind of normal stuff. Just runners, runners, all this like smaller size runner like this, that's as big as they are. And one little tiny guy here, can't forget about him. On this side, that's just uh, nothing there, it's just a box for the packing that and then finally at the bottom here we have the manual so here we have that nice big uh, reference photo there that is a photo of the kit from what I can tell from what it looks like there it's kind of like really blurry that's kind of weird anyway on the back side here's going over the color guide for that and let's see let's go inside see what else we got here just some more information here again just illustration like we saw on the outside of the box some more different uh, poses and things like that, some of the stuff that comes with the kit here on this side. And once we fold this out, just going to be all kind of standard construction here. It's just showing you how to put all the armor onto the frame. Won't really go through that. You guys know how that works. All right, let's get a look at the runners. Right, so with this kit, there's no stickers or anything, and again, unfortunately, no water slides either. It would have been nice to have a few water slides for those cool markings for this kit. I'm not sure if Kotobukiya ever made like a uh, water slide set or something that maybe was like a set that you could use for 
a few of the different frame arms kits. I, I'm not sure I haven't seen that, but I might have to check. Anyway, we do have a couple polycaps here, just these two little A polycaps on this PC runner. It is like kind of that typical, a little bit softer plastic for the polycaps. All right, runner A1 here is in this brown color. Get ready for not a whole lot of exciting colors in this kit. It's going to be quite dark. But uh, here we can see just some of the details on this. Kotobukiya is known for their nice details and just the sharpness of their molds. And yeah, I guess so, seeing that on here. Anyway, here's how the runners are marked. 002, uh, this is the something and Gorai there, A1. And the runner A2 here, what looks like just some more parts like for around the torso and kind of head sections, areas. Runner B1 looks like mostly kind of parts for the legs, I imagine, some armor for that, as well as these track parts for like uh, that like tank treads that go on like the back of the legs. So we'd have two of this B1 runner. And the runner B2 would just be kind of just more of the same. And then here we have those uh, track parts again, so those aren't going to be like individual separate pieces and it's not going to be moving at all, it's just one fixed thing there. And then we do have two of this B2 runner as well. We're going to see here we finally get to a color other than brown and it's black. So just some black parts here for a few other areas on the kit, including this knife here, which I can see the mold on that is uh, like the knife edge is really, really sharp. So in the review, I'll show you, I'll have to like cut some paper or something with that because I'm sure that's really, really sharp on there for that uh, combat knife. And finally, runner V is just some hands. This runner is marked F.A. Hando as just the full arts uh, frame arms hands. So that's pretty much it. This is one of the more simpler frame arms kits, so shouldn't really be too complicated. We've already got the frame all totally built. I am going to take some time to try to clean up some of those nub marks on that. But uh, it's basically then just a process of adding that armor onto it. So looks pretty cool. Color scheme a little bit dark for me. I would definitely want to change that up a, a bit, I think, in the painting process, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Anyway, that is it for the unboxing. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you have questions, comments, leave those down below. If you're wondering where to buy frame arms kits, I think I got this from Hobby Link Japan, I want to say. So you could try that. Otherwise, you know, just kind of other places where other Plummo kits are sold other than Gundam stuff. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the review. Bye-bye.